If you people actually thought that when you tuned into this video that I was going to bend an iPhone 6 Plus that cost $999 or $499 before contract with AT&T, then you're crazier than I am. My phone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the new cases I have. So, $40 case from AT&T. This is made by Pelican. You can get that from any AT&T outlet. And this $5 bumper, which I'm going to explain to you in a minute. Ordering the case, this is what came in the mail. So, it's a typical cheap Chinese plastic wrapped in cheap Chinese plastic in order to protect my iPhone 6 Plus. So, uh, as you can see, cheap plastic. And I'm going to change the Pelican case. With, and this is a case I got from at and It was $40. And this case right here is a very hard case. And it has a very good, it has a very good shock absorbing edge. Just in case you drop the phone, which I'm very careful with the phone. I don't drop it. It gives you access to all of your ports. Unfortunately, if you want to plug into the headphone jack, you're going to want to use the Apple headphones. But me personally, I use uh, LG uh, Tones Pros, which uh, are Bluetooth headphones. So I'm going to exchange this case for this case. Apple's um, optical quality glass has always served me well. I've never had a problem with it. The only reason why I'm changing from the first case to the second case is because I want to be able to see the lovely design of my iPhone. Now, before I even put this in there, a word, um, Apple really should consider building the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus like they did with the iPhone 5C. I really think that a polycarbonate back would make a lot of sense for this phone. Aluminum will bend quicker than polycarbonate. Now granted, my phone is just fine, and I'm not an idiot like these people on YouTube who are bending their phones. And the way I see it, I think a polycarbonate option, such as a, if Apple were to do exactly what they did with the iPhone 5 and sell the iPhone 6C and the iPhone 6 just like this for the luxury buyer who really wants this metal and glass, I really don't think anybody would complain about it. Because the thing about it is, forget the bending. That's just something that happens to retards. My problem with having the aluminum back is very simply that if you get scratches or scuffs, it makes the phone look bad. and It, it, makes, it makes you not like the way the phone looks. I've never had a problem with the optical quality glass. I keep my phone in my pants leg and I have it facing my body so that it can get cushioned directly from my, from my body. Um, I don't face it outwards just in case I were to, um, you know, get too close to a uh, edge of a table or something like that. So I've never had a shattered screen. I've dropped my phone a couple of times by accident. Not this phone, but I've dropped iPhone 5. I've dropped those phones by accident. I've never, ever had a trouble with a shattered screen. For people who usually shatter their screen, sometimes what it is is that they're hitting the edge. And if you hit the edge, the edge sends... Uh, shock to the center and that causes like that shattering because you know they're using these new glass techniques but um, I never had a problem with my iPhone glass not even with iPhone 1 never had a problem so every time I sold one of these things on eBay I was able to sell it at full price so now without further ado I'm gonna put this into this one and uh, basically you slide it in Let's see if we get that in there. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Yeah, you just snap it right in there, and that's that. And that's my iPhone 6 case. So the back is transparent. You can easily see, you can easily see the uh, Apple logo, so you know that this is an iPhone 6. The bottom gives you the same easy access to the ports, as you can see. I got this case for exactly $5 off of eBay, and it took less than, I'd say it took less than four or five, it took less than four days for it to come in the mail, and it was shipped from California, so I, I guess they have some kind of rush shipping, but they got it right here. 
Now, uh, access of the buttons is uh, no problem. It's easy to access the buttons. It's easy to hit the uh, covered sleep wake button. No problem. And um, basically, that's that. The only problem I had with this case, granted, this is a far more rugged case, but the only problem I had with this case was reaching the uh, the um, buzzer button, reaching the uh, mute button right here, the mute switch. I had a little trouble reaching the mute switch because it's so recessed. Other than that, I never had a problem. But um, this, uh, and uh, here's another thing. I understand that they don't want to cover the cameras of these phones because the problem is if you cover the camera with a translucent plastic, what you'll get is you'll get, um, what is it, you'll get uh, the flash interfering with the translucent cover. So I understand they don't want to do that. The only downside is there's not a lot of um, protection for your camera. And uh, when I had the iPhone 4, my camera got, it, it started getting cloudy. Because if you, um, you know, I don't really use very thick covers. So I'm not even sure how long I'll use this one because I know I want to get a Mophie battery charger. But um, these come in a, um, a array of colors. They come in black, silver, white, gray, blue. And I really like this case. I liked it when I saw it online. And um, it fits right in the pocket. It's thinner than this one by a bit. If I put them both together, you'll see. This one is thinner by a bit, by a good margin. And um, I like this case. I may get a different color, maybe black, but I, you know, $5 a pop, you can get whatever color you want. You can get a couple of colors just to match your outfit if that's what you're into. You know, some people like to match their sneakers because that's all they think about when they're, um, you know, online at Occupy Wall Street demanding more than $15 an hour to flip burgers at McDonald's. But anyway, I digress. So that's my uh, review of this case, and I'm going to leave you the link for it on eBay. If you have an iPhone 6 Plus, you might like this case. Will it give you the same level of protection as this case? No, absolutely not. This case is far more rugged and it's a bit thicker. But because of the way I treat my devices, I won't have trouble with um, any bends or scratches.